Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. What's my name? Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Never played it. Don't watch it. Kenya does. Can you guess who we are? Yes. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Yes. It's Halloween. Yay. And the cats are all dressed up in their cat costumes. Yes, and oh, refuse oh, their collars, so. Yeah, they're like, no. <laughs> we are already dressed. Yes. I mean, in fairness, Sprite is basically Halloween cat like 365 days a year so <laughs> yeah so he's already good he's already good he's all dressed up and ready yeah, to go yeah. yeah uh we're gonna play some spooky scary games yeah. tonight that involve you know monsters or creepy things yes so I've lined up uh five games on the Atari 8-bit system oh he's attacking the sword <laughs> no oh <laughs> you have a monster to fight. That's right. Fight that monster. Fight that monster. Fight that monster. The monster cat. Fight that monster. It's, it's a cat sword. We're going to be playing Hobgoblin 2. Mm -hmm. uh, Abu Simbel Profanation. Uh, Cemetery Chase. Cool. Nightshade. And an exclusive update to Castlevania for the 8 bit systems. Ooh, yes. Very nice. Uh, Geralt and Yennefer, yes, Ivory Tower correct. Collections is correct. <laughs> Spank that cat. It's the evil creature. Fight the evil creature. Fight the monster. <laughs> oh, thank you, Happy Arantrets. Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Yes. Aldefer Arkham H, Armscar Code, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari NT74, Atari Age, Atari Patch <laughs> Quest, <laughs> VR Pocock, Cafe Man 2D, Charles Madruga. <laughs> Uh, Charles and Donnie Mao, Charles William, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo. I'm going to put that on the big screen. He's like attacking the sword. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dan, you Drexel, Dr. Mukow's Eastern so Sov, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper, 2600, Johnny W. Sue, Capito, Capito, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lawrence D. Z, Mark Annis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Michael Town, Miss Command, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Nostalgia 26, Pac Man Plus, Pac Rat, VG Korog, R. R. Kohog. 2600, R. Anschwitz, RC70 rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG Ricardo Pim, Six Sweeps, Smitty B, Smoked, 3D, Four Spiceware, Esther Steps, Toy Big, The Welsh Man, 89, Tiki Dan K, Teat Foes, Track MD, 2600, Vitoko, X Ken X. So many. There can only be one. <laughs> there can only be one cat or sword in the house. Roar. Roar. I can see a little pop. Yeah, he's, he's given up now, though. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> um, nice. So. The ABBUC results are done. They have a contest each year for Atari 8-bit uh, games. And, oh, that's not the right one second. Uh, they have a contest each year for, oh my God, where is it? YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I totally lost it. Um, one second, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> happy, there we go. happy Halloween, Neo happy Media. Happy Halloween. So the uh, results are in. Uh, here it is, uh, posted on Saturday. Mm. Uh, in order, there we go. And uh, the top three are Bunny Hop, Break It 2022, Arcadia, and Pac Man Evolution. Ooh. And we're going to be doing a special show next episode, playing mm. through all of these. Mm probably two episodes actually mm -hmm. to fit them all in uh some of these some of them are uh utilities so we mm. can't we're not playing utilities <laughs> um, we're just gonna be playing the game so that should Fair be enough. a lot of fun um and that's all the news um so we're gonna get into the games uh first one is hobgoblin 2 uh and it is no just a more demo more Oh, thank you for following uh, M. M. Phillips. Phillips and also Yopo DMSC. Uh, both followed just uh, before the show. Or nice. Just now. Nice. Um, it is just a demo, but it is a port of a 1990 BBC Micro game. Uh, so let's just take a look at where it came from. Uh, this, yeah, this one is from uh, the BBC Micro computer. It's very, very wide for some reason. I don't know if it's supposed to be this wide. Oh, there's the yep. title screen. 
Um, let's switch it over. You can hear loading. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know if that has, they have a microphone on <laughs> the computer awesome. or if it's piped through. It's <laughs> definitely not supposed to be this wide, but anyway. No, that's okay. <laughs> I think somebody's got uh, four by three storage. Looks like, what is it, ghouls and goblins? Nine. Ghouls and goblins? Yeah, ghosts and goblins. Ghosts and goblins. That's but there's also one called ghouls, ghouls and goblins. Okay. Um, Very similar. Similar gameplay. Yes. So, you know, you have a weapon, you upgrade your weapon, you can even see them at the top there, mm -hmm. and you fight your way through uh, screens. Platforms. Not a smooth scrolling screen, but like a... F you just almost roll off like kind a, of thing? I don't know what the term is for that yeah. type of scrolling, because it is scrolling. But it's almost like it rolls screen when by, you... Yeah, yeah, a screen roll, a, a screen by screen scroll. Oh. Yeah. Um, just the action stops when you go from screen to screen. Uh, this mm. is from BBC Micro, one of the original uh, original versions of the game. Mm. Uh, so um, the, this one is made by XXL, uh, Adam, Odianiak, Od Odin, one EC probably, yes, uh, and Caruso, and... Excellent and string first posted to 2015 and this build is from 2020 That we're gonna be playing it is only a couple screens, but is definitely very hard just these first screens But I think they did it so that it's Showing off what they can do with with the engine so that when it gets to the actual game They know how far how fast how far they can push the game like in terms of how many uh, people they can put on, uh, enemies they can put on the screen. There we go. Okay, so if you can go up to today's date. <laughs> yeah, I didn't with recognize the glasses off. Her. Is the, uh, <laughs> she's probably had them off. I'm sure you've done it on Not that often. No, I'm way more comfortable with my, with my glasses on. Yeah. Uh, today's which one? date. Okay. Uh, Hobgoblin 2. Nice. Uh, and XXL has also made Gravity Worms and Nightshade, which are all, all we're also going to be playing tonight. Mm. Uh, you can download this demo in, uh, what is that? Let's just reset the computer. Sorry, is this Commodore 64? <laughs> it sure looks like Commodore 64. <laughs> Try it again, because I loaded it earlier and it was fine. It's nothing like when you test it and it works perfectly. And then it's showtime. And then it's showtime. And then you're like, oh, what's going on? Oh, God. On? And it all crashed. There we go. That looks a lot better. It's actually doing things. Yay! So, Hobgoblin 2, volume is 000. zero, zero. Now, I'm going to tell you why after we play it. Okay. Or kind of during um, while we play it. So, it's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, I think up is to jump. Okay. And the button is to fire. Okay. And there's ladders up and down. Mm. Okay. Same old, same old. I just turned down the thunder, so if anybody is like, the thunder's still too loud. Okay. Is space... Oh, it's red as red as Odin Yetz. Odin Yetz. Odin Okay. Yetz. Let me just look at it again. Odin Yak. Okay. Odin okay. Odin okay. Yetz. Oh my goodness, Polish names. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think work on your that should work. Oh. There you go. Ready. I'm gonna turn yeah, up is to more. jump. Yeah. Ah, ah. And you get three lives, more like three hits, but you get invincibility. I don't understand. How do I open? Oh, uh, you shoot it. Oh. Oh. No, it won't let me go back. <laughs> no. Uh, so oh. The, so Game the over. plot oh is. Goodness. Fifty years have passed since Xanok, the only son of King Gareth, Rick recovered the golden orb and put to flight the ghosts and hobgoblins that were terrorizing the people of Altoris. Now, once again, Altoris is under attack. There is no sound in this game, so if you're wondering where the sound is, there is none, um, because what I'm going to explain a little bit later. Um, Altoris is under attack, but this time you have been chosen to go forth into battle against the evil lord oh of the hobgoblins <gasps> and his vicious creations. If you enjoyed Hobgoblin, this game is a oh must. God. Um, so XXL posted uh, August 17th, 2022 about the game that this game is going to be distributed on SIO cart. Um, so not a normal cartridge. It's a cartridge that plugs into the SIO slot, which uh, right now the FujiNet is plugged into. Oh, Neo Meteo says, I want you... 
you two to know how much I love your show. Well, oh, we love you too. We love you for too. For watching and enjoying the show. We get a, uh, ah, ah, we have ah. a lot of fun with it, obviously. We wouldn't be, uh, I don't know how to dodge things. <laughs> there's oh, word. there's jumping. You can jump at an angle. Yeah, you reach the end of the demo. Uh, game. Oh, <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yes. Okay. So try and kill everything on the screen now, okay. rather than. Uh, well, that's a good job that you made it. Um, so uh, this will be distributed on SIO cart. So the actual cartridge won't plug into the cartridge slot. Sorry. Yes, this is on the eight-bit computer. You probably can't see the. It passed the cobwebs, but uh, yeah, this is on the uh, Atari 8-bit oh, computer. God. That's right in the middle there. Oh, no, I, I put the cat down. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. What okay. happened? That's okay. That's okay. Um, I thought I'd put a filter on the cat cam so it would work on the small screen, but it didn't. It only works when the cat cam's large. So. Looks, ah. like, looks like how we're seeing things in the cat cam. Um, so XXL explained about the audio in the game, the audio that's going to be in the game. Um, the source is a WAV file being played out by at Mega32, controlled by SIO command, through audio in pin on the SIO plug. So the SIO um, slot on the back of the Atari 8-bit system mm. has a specific pin just for audio. And this is like uncompressed audio that gets mixed with the audio on the Atari 8-bit and then gets outputted through the normal audio. So what they're going to be doing with this game is having uncompressed audio through the pin. Oh, okay. So it's going okay. to have like an uncompressed... Well, it says WAV file. I don't know. You can put anything in a WAV file you want, but, you know, uncompressed. It, it's not going to be like... Um, on a pokey chip or anything, so that's really, really interesting. I didn't think anything other than beeps and boosts of the attached devices use the SIO audio. I believe, yes, Vitoko says it'll be like a tape player because you, can, because you can attach tape players to the SIO port of the Atari 8-bit, um, which you can, and the audio from the tape can go through it, and games back in the day did have that. I think some educational games yeah. had that uh, feature. Um, and uh, Adam posted, I would like to, this is the original posting of this game. I would like to announce that we, XXL, Odianek, and me are working on Hobgoblin 2 of the Atari XL XE uh, conversion of the BBC Micro game by David Parsons. Our version should be ready this year. I mean, that was 2015, but games take longer than they originally think. Uh, and let me prevent you, uh, present you the first teaser. That was really old. It was just a video. You probably remember Hobgoblin 2008 is the conversion of the first part. This time there's going to be much more changes of the original game, including new in-game graphics and a new level. In the game, you may see animation for the loading screen. Mm -hmm. um, then XXL, I believe, followed up with... There are 14 s sprites supported at the same time where seven are the bullets or items, sized eight pixel by eight pixels, seven sprites, 12 uh, by two, um, and yes, pre-shifted shapes and masks. Modded engine, so they modded the engine to allow the controller, control the player while jumping, so you're not, so it's modern jumping, not okay. ancient video game jumping where you jump and you can't control yourself in oh, the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can shoot while you're on the ladder, Okay. This is, these are differences from the original. Gotcha. Uh, interaction with the background. Not sure what that means, but because we haven't seen it in this demo yet. Uh, temporary immortality, which it does show in this. I'm guessing the original one, you just died. Probably. And then you came back at a different spot. Uh, flashing items, and it shows that to pick them up. Respawn sprites, less stringent collisions. Uh, schema for sprites, defined tracks, strengths, flying, interaction, walking. And a schema for weapons, attribute, power, time, flight path, depending on who fired, special weapons, etc. Um, now, there is a boss mode, but you were able to finish this game, the demo. Um, Shift B is boss mode in this, in case you can't uh, finish the demo. Oh, you killed all the flying um, happy faces. I thought they just came forever. One more. Oh, oh! so close. Want to try? Yes, please. It is super fun. 
It's Atari, hard, but super fun. Our entrance says Atari cassettes use one track for data and one track for audio mm -hmm. through the SIO port. Ah, okay. Uh oh. Oh, no, I still have. No, I lost a life already. And I'm just going to die. Kitten. Kitten. Calm down. He does not like the sword. <laughs> I hate that sword. He's like, uh, it looks like a cucumber. <laughs> I hate cucumbers. Oh, cats, enemies. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, cats are enemies with cucumbers. That's correct. We have bows for each of the cats, but they, they were not They will not, not let them go on. They nope, nope, nope. Fought, fought it hard. Oh, yeah. And then oh, one of I them had a, had a slight oh, uh, asthma attack, and we said, nope. <laughs> no, that's not happening. It's not going to happen. You killed all the monsters? No. No, oh, God, okay. no. No, 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 no. They, they just keep coming. Oh, did there they? There you go. No. Now, no. now you've cleared that. No, I, I, I would keep falling down and getting injured, so. I only have one no. life left here. I know. It's so hard. Oh, God, I hopped up there. Oh, did oh, I get it? I think nice. you might have. Ooh, only have one life left, though. might be doing though. it. Ooh, these guys. I, I, I always find the... Uh... Oh, 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 oh. Another one more. Oh, one more happy face here. Oh, did it crash or did I get it? Nope. It's very hard to actually get it. Because <laughs> it hits the ground before I can shoot it. They who's, shoot like knives. Those guys, they have they shoot weapons. Yeah, one of them shooting uh They shoot different a... weapons. Oh, there got you go. one of them. Oh. Even though it says I upgraded the weapon. I know it, it doesn't under... actually change you don't get it. it. No, not yet. But that's cool. Ugh. One more guy. Can do One it. more guy. You can do it. Yay! Hop into the abyss. Woo! <laughs> and dead. Yes. Very nice. I love those type of games. Yeah. They, Ghosts and goblins. I always any kind of side find scrolling. the controls very challenging. They take a while to get used to, but yeah, they've been going Yeah. Around. Someone did notice our lovely uh, pumpkin. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Can people tell? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> oh, it actually looks really good on screen. It does. It's really Look bright. At that. We put some LED lights in there. It looks wow. really, really lit up. Yeah, that's really good stuff. Good. good stuff. Okay, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to um, mm -hmm. the final game. A CX40. You are definitely super correct on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Not just correct, super correct. Really uh, specific. Very specific. Mm. Oh my gosh. Um, itchy, itchy, itchy. Is it an itchy way? It is. <laughs> I like it, well, but it's very You can take it off itchy. anytime you like. Ugh, we'll see. See how long you it last? It ruins the costume if I take it okay. off. Okay, the next one we're actually going to skip till the end because it's a longer one. Okay. I want to actually keep it till the end. Okay. Uh, we're going to play Abu uh, Simbel Profanation. Okay. Um, but I think it deserves a little bit more time because it is um, a longer game. So don't load that one up. How, can I go backwards or no? Uh, left and the button. So we're uh, going to go to Cemetery Chase next. This one? Cemetery Chase? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I asked earlier, but I thought Castlevania Work in Progress required a BVXE on the Atari 8-bit computers to work unless you're playing an emulation. You are correct! We're playing in an emulation. <laughs> Anybody have a spare PAL Atari 8-bit with VBXE <laughs> and uh, one UMB installed? Mm -hmm. I'll give you my address. Um, actually, I am seriously looking for one, either a uh, PAL version. Okay. Um, I really like 800XL because of the top loader. Yes. Um, but if anybody has a suggestion of a better system to upgrade the VBXE mm. on in the U1MB, um, I am definitely going to be doing that very soon because I want to be able to play all the games natively. Okay. This looks spooky. Yeah, it's a spooky game. So, you collect the gold bars and avoid the ghost. Okay. And you get 50 points every gold bar. And it plays... I can't remember the name of... Ding, 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 ding. Moonlight oh, Sonata? Moonlight Sonata? Yes, that's it. So this was made by Philippe de Toro, uh, April 16th, 2022. Uh, he first put it out. Do oh, you no, die if one. you hit the... Uh... Tombstones? Uh, yes. Ghosts or tombstones. Gotcha. Actually, skip that one. This is by, by, by Yoda Zhang, 8 Master, on the Atari Age forums. It's from 2015. Uh, it came in second place uh, in the 2015 10 Liners Contest. And Vitoko is a... Uh, 
expert at the 10 line contest, so he probably remembers this game uh, from that contest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It gets harder and harder because it's one, speeds up, and two, um, there's more uh, gravestones on the page, on the screen, and the ghost speeds up too. I think your movements also speed up, do they? I'm guessing they would. Well, they're pretty fast to begin with. No, your movements are to stay the same. Oh, move. do they? Ah! 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 1650. <laughs> Excellent. Um, oh, sorry, Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, yes, it, we will be playing it in emulation. I do want to get a VBXE plus one, uh, one UMB upgrade to a PAL 8-bit mm. system. Uh, most likely, I'm going to have to buy a PAL system and then get somebody to upgrade it because why would somebody sell their upgraded 8-bit <laughs> system? They're obviously a very big fan of it. And the chances of... Go for it again. Chances of them selling it fully upgraded uh -oh. Oh, is, uh, is zero. <laughs> um, so about nice. Zodi, uh, Yoda Zhang... I started my career as a game designer when I was 14 years old, creating Ooh. simple games in BASIC on the Atari 400 with a 16K, uh, with 16 kilobytes of RAM. Later, I discovered the art of computer music and worked for Atari Germany, Axis, oh. and Areola Soft. We ran into that name the other day. <laughs> he got one of the. He took it. Oh, he took a gold bar. So mean. Oh, you also don't want him to run into the gold bars. Creating groovy musical tunes for their games. In 1989, nice. I founded uh, KE Soft. What happened? Did he eat another one? Nope. Oh. Uh, a famous German Atari 8-bit games company published lots of games for the Atari 8-bit systems, as well as printed German Zonga magazine for Atari 8-bit computers. So, uh, on AtariOnline.pl, this game was described as, The plot makes little sense, but how much fun this game is. Oh, kittens! What's happening? Psst. What's going on? I love the power out of the computer. <gasps> what? Oh, so many team farms. <gasps> no! That, that $60 power cable is not long for the world. Oh, no! Okay, there we go. Oh, you can hit system reset and type list to show the how short the code is. Yes! Ah. Uh, well, I didn't load the... This is a compiled game. So I don't think it'll show that. Like I'm not mm. running it from basic. I don't know if that makes a difference. Mm. Um, our character, represented by frightened eyes, they are frightened eyes. Kitten. Psst, psst, psst. Oh, I have a sword. It's the Kitten. it's the gray cat who did it. Oh yeah. The oh, I thought it was cable the black chewing one. cat. I don't know. I'm psst, 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 trying to play a game here, so. <laughs> I have, a, I have a weapon now to fend off the evil cable evil, chewing evil cat. Evil monster? I mean, Geralt is a monster hunter, so it, oh. it's, it's apt. He is a gray monster. Yeah, there's a gray monster in the house. That uh, threatens all the land's cables. Uh, yeah. <laughs> At least all the house. power ca cables in the house. Yeah. Threatened by the. Finds gray monster. himself in a graveyard at night and collects the gold that appears there. We are hindered by a ghost chasing us incessantly. And our way is blocked by more and more tombstones popping up from under the ground, which we have to dodge. Our actions are accompanied by a looped musical theme, which slowly accelerates <gasps> with the whole game. Oh, that's that not quite as good. That was very bad. Very bad. Uh, as time goes by, it becomes increasingly difficult to maneuver between obstacles. The fact that the ghost cleans everything it encounters mm. along the way makes it a little bit easier. Mm. Does it clean the gravestones too? Try it. I didn't tell. Uh... Try it. Try it. Get over on the other side of the gravestone. Other side. I know. There you go. I have to draw them. There you go. Uh... Oh. He does. Oh, that's great. That's what you should be doing in the meantime. Come on. <laughs> Kitten. Oh, that cat. Distracting me and almost uh -huh. killing me. I died both times you were attacking the cat. Uh-huh. Well, that's a convenient excuse. It's not. It's <laughs> true. It's an inconvenient excuse. Yeah, it's it's compiled. I think it's uh X E X. I wonder why they named it X E X instead of E X E, like on uh, 
Oh, probably because PCs already had, some other systems already had EXE and they didn't want to confuse it? Does anybody know the history on that? Oh, oh come on, hit thousand. some of the friggin' gravestones! You go. Got one. Just like, uh, <laughs> avoids them. Does he? He goes straight for you. Oh. Oh, 1300. I know, I can't see very well. <laughs> it's not compiled? It loaded Turbo Basic XL, which first loads the game. Oh, okay, it's like wrapped. Oh, couch compliance. <laughs> Puts me at it. No, they always start a uh, ghost far away from you. I think so. Yeah, they would have to. It is not compiled. It loaded Turbo Basic Just XL first, which is loaded the game. Oh, I see. So it's like a wrapper. Gotcha. So it actually did run uh, the, the basic mm. program. That's good. We will be able to see the code. Okay, ghost, over here. Mm? Come get this. You want to kill it, don't you? You want to kill it. Kill the sword? Weird collar. <laughs> yep. Oh, careful. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Oh, you did it? Yep, he's got it on. Is it tight? Is it too tight? Yeah, I think he's okay. He's not too happy, but it's okay. <laughs> he's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> the monster has been slain. That's right. We put a collar on him. We've tamed the monster. Oh, what? <laughs> That's cheap death. It what? appeared just before I went over it. Yep. The gravestone. It does. Sometimes they do eventually turn into gravestones. Oh. At least that happened I mean, to me a, at least a couple times. It's a 10-liner. It has no room for if the gravestone is X spaces away from you, don't place one. Also, should anyone feel like... Um, Giving some Halloween treats to the monsters. Not the bowl of treats that you see there. That's bad for cats. <laughs> that's treats for we us. Have, uh, yeah, it's treats for us. We can be us. fed treats as well. <laughs> yeah, when you uh, ding the bell, we'll eat treats too. <laughs> that gravestone. Yeah. Nice. Come over here and get this gravestone. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, thank you, Vera Pocock. All right. Excellent. Who oh, wants the... some Halloween? Halloween cat treats. Cat treats. Yeah? We, we must uh, slay, slay the fluffy monsters here. Oh, oh the gray cats run away. Why, why did you run away? Oh, there's a new bag of treats, too. Big bin. Yes, I know. I've got to open the treats. Oh, it's very fast now. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Is it go faster based on time? I think it's time. I don't think it's based. I know, guys. Hold on. Hold on. So I should collect the gold as quick Meow as possible. Meow or treat. Meow or treat. Meow. Oh, my kittens. Hold on. <laughs> it's like service. Service, You're please. being too... No tip for you. Oh, my goodness. I know. I have to open the bin. <laughs> Open the bin. Oh my god, I just accidentally ran into the cats are very upset about this service. The monsters are <laughs> the monsters are at the door. Yeah. Yes, it's coming. Here. There you go. There you go. Trick or treats. More like tricks from from the cats. Ding or treat! Ding, Ding or, or treat! treat. Well, they're ringing the doorbell what, kind what, of. What? What happened? They ran off. <laughs> What's going on? Good kitty. No, not for you, black cat. It's for the gray cat. You ring your own bell. Oh. Here, here. Kit. Oh, you're so distracted today. <laughs> Another one? Oh, you're so hungry. Ravenous monsters. You didn't get dinner. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <gasps> Damn it. 1500. Yes, treat for you. <laughs> Black cat treats. Got really close. Really close. Black cat treats. I should 
probably concentrate on getting rid of as many gravestones okay. as possible in the beginning. Atari still has his collar on. I haven't got one on Sprite yet. There you go. Thank you, Ricardo Pim, for resubscribing. Okay, that's it. That's it. All the treats are done. 25 months. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Good kitties. Happy Halloween, cats. Happy Halloween, kitties. Happy Halloween to our viewers, too. Yes. Now, Black Kitten, will you wear a, wear a little collar? Hmm? Now that we've given you treats? <laughs> oh, no, not a chance. Oh, I have to switch back. It's okay. Excellent. This oh, is a oh. really, really cute, fun game. The fact that he erases tombstones is a is a big thing. Adds another element to it too, right? It yeah. keeps you going. God damn it. <laughs> There you go. It's a girl to you, sorry. <laughs> okay, come on down here. Geralty. Geralty Growl. Geralt. Grumble. Geralt. Geralt. Geralt of Rivia. So you've played which games of The Witcher? Just oh. just really Witcher 3. Just Witcher 3. I think I have Witcher 2. Okay. But I didn't really get into it, but Witcher 3 is fantastic. And they just announced the other day that... The first Witcher's being redone? Yes. Remastered? Remastered or something, which I, All the I mean, what I saw of it was pretty rough. So if the they're game. completely redoing it, I don't know. It'd yeah, be probably it looks worth really a, good. Worth a try, so. It's going to be even supposedly better looking than number three, because it's going to be many, many years newer on yep, newer very systems. very true, very true. And I still haven't read the books, so that is something I need to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. You read all the time, so... I know, I know. I don't know how I haven't yet, but uh, it needs to happen. I'm not sure if if I don't get the gold, it doesn't speed up. You're so. okay, Cat. What's wrong with you? I'm starving for What's treats. wrong with you? Fifteen hundred. Come here. What's wrong with you? Very whiny. Yay! I got the high score. Is that all you were trying to do? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Why play games other than to get awesome at them? Oh. True. Mm, Twenty fifty. Twenty fifty. I will good. retire on that. All right. Do you want to beat it? Um. Sure. You should try the strategy of not getting any gold. Okay. And just lead them into all the tombstones. Oh, and then getting it. And the then gold. get all the gold. Yeah. I don't know if it speeds up because of time. Because I think it's time. Because when I went for all the gold. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't. It started speeding up a lot. Like, don't get that gold. Just lead them into tombstones. I'm guessing it's just based on. The number of like levels or it iterations. We'll try not to get the gold. Yeah, Atari is now wearing a collar. He's visibly upset. <laughs> hey, dude abides! Happy Halloween! This game is fun. Even the simplest of concepts for games can be. Hugely, oh, you're getting all the gold now? <gasps> no, you're not doing the know. experiment. You didn't really get that much further ahead, ahead of me, but... Oh, you're making him erase the gold now. He's going faster he and faster. I don't think it is. I think it's just straight up time passing. Ah! <laughs> Move too oh, fast. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Um, okay, the next game we're going to be playing is uh, Nightshade. Mm -hmm. It is an isometric game, which I generally don't play, but we're going to give it a go here. Um, so if you want to load that up, please. Oh, this is made by... Sorry. Wrong one? No, oh. I hit the button, then left, instead of left in the oh, button. Oh, well, we can uh, do a list. 
of the game, like like it was a requested. Oh. Now what was the button we need to press? We need to press system reset. Break. And then list the code. There you go. There's the ten lines. Eight, nine, ten. Zero through nine. Very nice. And that's all Very there is nice. to the game. It is such a simple, <laughs> wonderful little game. Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. Very cool. It's amazing what people can make in ten lines. I know. <laughs> and they're not even that long of ten lines either. Mm -hmm. Okay, nightshade. Left and button. There you go. I did the reverse, unfortunately. <laughs> unintentionally. Uh, this builds from September 24, 2009. It's a 48K Ooh. game made by That's XXL nice. and Miker and Irgendwer. Irgendwer. <laughs> so, uh, this is a port um, from a ZX Spectrum game. Action game developed and published by Ultimate Play. Uh, ported to Amstrad CBC and BBC Micro. Uh, um, also ported to MSX. So, um... down the music a little bit. I generally have it too high. Okay, so press the button. It is... I'll explain to you. Those are monsters. Those are bullets. Avoid the monsters. Get the bullets. Don't press the button unless you're shooting. Oh, you can pick up the bullets? Pull up. Yeah, they're various spells, I think they are. And you can shoot them at the monsters. There you go. Oh, it oh, changes. Change it into something else. And um, see at the bottom, there's four icons of monsters. Mm -hmm. There's like a skeleton, Grim Reaper, a, a lesser Grim Reaper, ah! <laughs> and a ghost dude. This is really weird, the... It's Qbert. It is Qbert. <laughs> um, so you have to find those four creatures in the game. Okay. And each of them are susceptible susceptible to different bullets or okay. spells. Uh, you're very full. You're, you're full. It's fine. I can go into... What the hell is... What are the directions Up, here? Up, down, left, right. Is it? Yeah. That's left. That's right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's Cubert all over. <laughs> it's all Why? Why? Why do people like Why? isometric? The game is presented in an isometric format. The player assumes the role of a knight who enters the plague infested village of Nightshade to vanquish four demons who reside within. Additionally, all the residents from the village have been transformed into vampires and other supernatural creatures. So those are actual actually people who live in the village. Reminds me of Head Over Heels on the C64, 2600 Dude says. Yeah, there was a ton of isometric games. Uh, so you have to press in the direction while you're moving to shoot. Oh, God, this is awful. <laughs> I, I will explain the game is not awful. Tanya doesn't like the controls. I hate, hate isometric controls. <laughs> and I have no shot now. There's no, no shot used left. it all up. Oh, you ran right into it. Yep. Yeah. Because there's no shot left. Oh, these are shots. These are different yep. shots. I different. Know. Those are like, I don't know. Um, radioactive what shots? Oh. <laughs> uh, contact with these monsters infects the knight, which repeated contact turns the character from white to yellow, then to green. I don't think there's colors in this game. Uh, there is a VBXE version of this game, but I opted obviously to play this one. There you go. Um, the knight may be hit up to three times by an enemy, however, the fourth hit will result in a life being deducted. Mm. The object of the game is to locate and destroy four specific demons. Yeah. Each demon is vulnerable to a particular object, which must be collected by the player. A hammer, a bible, a crucifix, and an hourglass. So we haven't even found those yet, actually. No, there's probably a lot more. I'm probably not supposed to shoot things and probably supposed no. to find things. They, it gives you score. I, it, we ran into something that appeared right over top of you, which mm. is cheap. Um, Agreed. Uh, once all the four items have been collected, the player must track down a specific demon and cast the correct item in it in order to destroy it all. After all four items, uh, demons have been destroyed, the game will end. Uh, in order to defend against other enemies, such as vampires and monsters, the players can arm themselves with antibodies. Oh, that's what those are. Uh, 
which can then be thrown at enemies. A antibodies can be found in houses around the village and will slowly deplete once used by the player. Hmm, I wonder what that really means. Like, well, there's less and less them. of them? You're shooting them, that's what my shots are. Yeah, but... the antibodies. But it, it says they deplete. Oh, is that a crucifix? No, those are just weapons. Um, other collectible items include extra lives, boots, and the ladder, which enables a player to run at faster speeds. Which could be helpful. Oh, God. Oh. So, uh, there is a map that you can bring up. It doesn't show where the enemies are. It doesn't seem to show where you are, even. Is that the, a creature? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the map, just so we, people sure. can see it. Ah, oh my god, it's a huge it's world! It's huge. I'm guessing each of those squares is a room. Wow. But it doesn't show where you are. It doesn't show where the enemies are. So, I'm not sure how useful it is. <laughs> it's a map. It is a map. I it guess. is that. Uh, I guess oh, it... Oh, good night, dude Yay, Thanks for night. tuning in. Um, there is a button to change the joystick controls. Would you like to try that to a different scheme? Not really. Now you're used to it, I no, guess? No, I'm not used to it, but <laughs> I, I just... I don't know what the other scheme would be. Uh, it would probably be angles. So if you press up to the left, it'll go up to the left. Oh. Thank you for subscribing, Teleprompter312. That's a new name. Yeah. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching. Yeah. You're, you're full. So really the goal is to go find those yeah. big weapons. You want to find the big weapons and then figure and out where... And power-ups as well. Where the power-ups... Oh my god! Got stuck in the wall. Well, yeah, because you can't tell where the... So uh, XXL also put out a uh, VBXE version, which I mentioned, where um, he added shading and turbo um, that you can make it go faster. I'm guessing the whole game is a bit faster? Mm. Maybe? Um, and Adam messaged me today about playing Hobgoblin, mm. um, which I put under the wrong game, but that's okay. I'll talk about Hobgoblin, which I already played. Um, for Hobgoblin 2, it's only a very short tech demo, which we, we talked about, uh, which was published so far, and you can complete it in less than two minutes, I suppose. Nevertheless, I would like to mention that it was uh, me, Adam, uh, Wachowski, who created the sprites for the Atari version. The backgrounds are mainly taken from the original BBC Micro, just some of them are changed a bit. And some of the sprites were based on the BBC Micro version enemies, but there are also many completely new sprites created. Oh, that's a very... Uh, oh, those are your speed-up shoes. Are they? Shoes with wings on them. Oh, 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 you got them, I think. No, I think no. I... Crashed into them? I don't know. So now you've got shoes, you're marginally faster. I think less creatures on the screen make it, uh... There we go. Don't have to shoot. No, but I need to get more of these guys, so... Oh, It's easier to okay. run around when you've killed everything in the room first. So mm -hmm. there are shortcuts to get to the weapons. Okay. So we'll probably do that, because it's a massive map. I mean, it's very cool that... It had like when you go over certain spots that the walls disappear mm. as you go into different rooms. So I've never really played any isometric games um, on my C64. There were a few, but I, as soon as I started playing them, I'm like, oh, this is weird. And they're usually presented in monochrome like this. Yes. Because they, the developers, you got what? too close to them. Ugh. Took more than one shot. And yeah, it was he does. Right next ah. to you. Um, so, the, to use the high resolution modes, usually they drop down to monochrome. Ooh, what did I get? Uh, just a scroll. Spin. No, it was a, no, no, no. Was it something? You missed it. It was a, it was like a potion or something. Oh. Don't know what that was. Oh, for. well, there were certain things in the game that you can, uh, upgrade yourself. Mm. Where was it? Let's see. Uh, extra lives. And boots. I don't think I got extra life. No, you're down so. to two now. Um, do you want to teleport? Oh. To 
to a weapon. You can teleport? Yes. It's a cheat. Stop moving. Doesn't work. <laughs> and I just got hit. No, it doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe in a different version, maybe the VBXE version it works and they didn't implement it in this one. And then control and shift and five through eight goes to the main enemies. No, I'm teleporting. Oh, just one. Just just the numbers themselves? No. What? No, no, I got hit. Oh, okay. It's like what? So it does oh, more boots. Good to see one of the enemies. One of the big enemies? Yeah. One of the bosses? Yeah. Ah! Oh, he ran right into it. It's hard, right? Well, and also sometimes you think you're going to pass through a space and you're like, oh, well, that's a big like caught thing. on the edge. In the door? Can you go in that door? Not that door. No. Those are little. See, nope, nope, the door. There's a potion the middle, there. The door in the middle. There? Usually it's just ones that no? are open. Okay. That is the building that was around the other side. Just strange, strange game <laughs> where you pick up, you pick up your bullets that are moving around well, your antibodies. Yeah, yeah, your antibodies, your anti-monster <laughs> bodies. Yes. Do weapons have different impact on different enemies? You can't uh, choose not your... these guys. It doesn't. Oh my god. Five percent complete. Nice. Um, not that I can... No, you can't. They just... I, I mean, maybe there is a way to choose them, but you just peel off, you add them from left to right, and then you shoot them from right to, right to left. Yeah. So that's from what I can tell. And these enemies Ooh. seem to be... See, there's Potion. I don't know what it does. They're Ooh. all out. Oh, my God. Oh, that's one of the bad guys. Oh, my God. You found a big bad guy. I can't... It's like it was right next to me, which is annoying. I don't have any weapons. That is yeah. one of the bad guys. It is one of the bad guys. Wow, I found So I ran the whole minute. game without seeing one of them. Oh, come on. Well, you need to pick up a bunch first. He just wanders around then. Interesting. Hmm. Do you have it, to have a special it, weapon to defeat each of those? A like special normal... weapon on top of the antibodies? Oh, antibodies don't do anything. To those guys? To the main uh, enemy. You have to pick up a cross and some other stuff. Gotcha. Hmm. Those guys are, like, are not dying from my bullets. No, because maybe... I don't know. Some of them require... Ah. See, that's the bad, bad guy. Yeah. See? It's not so easy getting through those doors. <laughs> you get kind of caught on the edge. Oh. Oh. That's oh, another bad guy! How oh. do you get all the bad guys? Oh, that guy's fast. Yeah, he is. I have zero weapons to, to fight them. Is there any weapons in here? Yeah, there you go. You have to pick up a bunch. Ah. Just let them spawn. They spawn when you're in the rooms. Ah! Hi, cat. Are you here to... Oh, get that. And there's more weapons. Yeah. Got two. Yeah, you kind of want to fill yourself up. Okay. That guy is nice. He doesn't look like a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which oh. one, the skeleton or the ghost ro walking around with his hands up in the air? <laughs> he's just surprised. Like, I surrender. I, I surrender. surrender. Don't hit me, please. That guy. Well, the, yeah, no, he, the ghost has his hands up in the well, air, that guy too. looks like he has a smile on his face. Yeah, he does. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Good job. Hi, black kitten. Hi. But I don't have a weapon, so it's pointless hanging around them. I have to go look for one. Oh, this cat is, like, right on the joystick. That's really funny. <laughs> so who's this guy? You're gonna let me put on your collar? Nope. 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 <laughs> it's like, no! No, no collars! <laughs> no collars! Ah, the one with his hands up? I know, he's surrendering. Yeah, he's like, it oh, seems. don't hurt me. I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just a scared ghost. Or a scared monster. Oh, I got, oh. Some more boots, that would be helpful. Oh, no, I'm fast. Really 
mad about his collar. He's chewing all Very the clearly. cables. Very clearly. Nice to find one weapon. Just one. I'm, I'm guessing everything's just randomly scattered. I think you're right, because those two bad guys, right I thought they'd be other? hiding in a room. Yeah. But they clearly just appear to be just wandering wander. around, so you just have to kind of come across them. It's a big, big map. Though. It is a huge map. I mean, it's a that? blob. I, th I think different weapons have different effects on different creatures. I think you might be why right. why would it be any point in having different weapons? Or different antibodies, right? True. Um, interesting concept. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, I'm not... I'm never a fan of the... <laughs> Isometrics. Oh. oh, God. He just appeared and ran right into me. I mean, I'm sure you play it enough, you get used to it. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it already, so... I just... it's not my favorite. <laughs> Way to display games? Yeah. I just... I don't know, it's... it's... it like goes I, against the movements of the controller, and I just... I understand I don't know. why they would do it for the visuals. Yes, for the visuals. Yeah, I agree. Who's come around. You yes. can't really do that any other that way. Gum, gumdrop's coming right for you. There's a potion in there. Is there? Yeah. In that room? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, fine. We lost one life. I was looking life. for an entrance. There it is. It's there. right there. Yep. Okay, I have two lives. Let's see if it um, gives me an extra... I doubt it's extra life, but... Yeah. Nothing. It would have probably brought me back up to full health. I don't know if, it, if it's like a... Because it didn't add to Allows my... you to take a hit or something. Maybe. Did you have information on it, or...? Like, there's no, um... Uh, I didn't look up the instructions there's... for the original game. Oh, for the original. Sorry, yeah. but not... But for this one, there are no instructions yet. It wasn't posted. Gotcha. Because people can look up the original yeah, fair enough, fair game. enough. Or they're familiar with the original game. Cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find any of the weapons, unfortunately. It's a huge map. I'll keep looking for a couple more... Oh, damn it. A couple minutes more, and then we'll move on. did find two of the... Two of the main... Creatures, mm. demons, that are causing havoc in the land. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the map wraps around or if it's like, no, this is the edge of the city. Maybe it's that, that brick wall. Oh, I bet it is, because I've been going the in edge one of the direction. City? Yeah. Yeah, it's going up and down, up and down. Watch that cat. He is Trouble? on a rampage. You want it off? Mm -hmm. So, yes. So cute, though. I hate you. I hate you, Mom. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? The disgust in his face. Like <laughs> you poor kitty. <laughs> oh, that's a dead end. We put you in a collar for the um, the Atari the Atari Awards <laughs> and on Halloween. Yes, two times a year, cat. Yeah. That's all we ask. That's all we ask. We take it off within five minutes of the show being over. Hate it. He's like, oh. I want to get it dressed up. No, I don't want a oh, collar. I like being naked boots. all day long. <laughs> a naked cat. They're all naked. This guy's like, nope. No collars for me. Big okay. fluffy. Look at that fluffy uh, squirrel tail that oh, black cat so has fluffy. developed. I'm going to go in here and if there's no power up. No. Nope. Okay. We're done then. Okay. That's yep. cool though. We saw two of the the skeleton and the. Um, we did. The ghost. Ghost. That looks like it's in a pot at the bottom, but okay. it's pretty cool. SpongeBob SquarePants character. Yeah, well, yeah, he does. Okay, here you go. Uh, we will switch over. Okay. Okay. Time for Castlevania exclusive Yay. update. Now we're going to emulate this. Okay. Because it does require VBXE which I do not have, mm. unfortunately, at the moment. But I plan on having it. Um, okay. Uh, it's also called uh, Atarivania, I think. Or Castle Atari. Which one was it? Mm. Uh, Castle Ataria Castle Atari. as well. So let's see if I can get this going nicely. Here. 
You guys can't see it. Don't do anything. Actually, you can't do anything because it's on the computer. Let's get a controller. Dun, 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 dun. Is that music? Yep. I think they can hear it at least. It is also in Stereo Pokey as well. Stereo Pokey. Two Pokey chips. Really? Yes. Cool. Uh, which you can get done as a mod to your system. Uh, try move. No. No. Nothing. We'll start it again, just in case. Um, let's minimize these and get the screen ready. Kit, what are you doing? Get your nose out of there. Cats are trouble. They are trouble. They're Very Halloween cats. Much trouble. They're all into the tricks and not so much the treats. Eh? I'll give you tricks. I'll give you tricks. How about a collar? <laughs> a collar? Get the controller. Mm -hmm. Yes. There we go. Everybody knows Castlevania, so I will not talk about actual Castlevania or show you videos because it's one of the most famous games ever. Um, so the first, it was first posted June 10th, 2022. This build is from October 20th, 2022. Uh, it is done, uh, made by Leonard Bone, uh, known in the Atari age forums as Thielen, done by, uh, graphics and code. And the music is done by Synth Papalooza, Bobby Clark. Very nice. That is why. And it uses VBXE. Oh. Uh, which is a video output scheme that allows you to have more colors at higher resolution. Um, that's why it looks so good. Um, so Thielen re reached out to me when he heard that I was doing the 8-bit uh, Halloween at Homebrew special um, with the latest version of Castlevania. Awesome. So this has not been released in the Atari Age forums, so I thank him very much for letting us premiere this. Uh, here's what he wrote. A uh, very cool idea to do a 31st Halloween spooky stream. <laughs> He's still uh, smacking the sword. I've finished up the first 1.4 levels of Castlevania B VBXE. Oh, you can't. Uh, it it doesn't automatically go oh. to the next one. Oh, ha, ha, nice. So we'll just play that one again. So just do things, but don't finish. I can't control it. Uh, right. Um, but life was too busy to program a routine that starts a next level. So I've ended up for two with two separate stage one and stage two. That's really noisy. This is the plastic from the And the other piece. He's like batting know, it around. Because it smells like treats. Sorry. Trouble today. Yes. The music is made for the dual pokey upgrade set to mono. I have it in stereo right now, so you're hearing it out of both ears. Probably a bit too loud. Yeah. So I can't go anywhere past this? No. There's no monsters here. Oh, we'll show the second level now. Yeah. Okay. It looks really good, Dan. Yeah, it does. Uh, music is done by Atari Age user Synth Papalooza. Uh, a lot of thanks to. Graphics and code by me, as in um, Thalen. T H E L E N. Thalen. Oh my god, why is this. It's ch it's as challenging in the real game as well, but the timing. There you go. Um, I've been working on it since March, April this year. I've wanted to make an Atari 8-bit game that makes use of the BBX E card. First goal was to put in some tiles on the screen and learn more about Glitter List, and later learn how to make a scroller with these tiles and see how it worked out on the 8-bit. Cat, you're trouble. When all that worked out, I extended it with the main sprite character of Castlevania. No, 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 no. Uh, Simon, and that also worked out the right way. So from March 22 until now, I've extended the project to what it is now. And my main goal is to finish the game until the first boss fight, the bat. Ah. By then, the challenge is probably gone for me since all the basic stuff is in the game engine. And I always look forward to new projects and ideas, which is, which is, oh, don't go down there. 
No? Like no, you can't it's anyway. Nothingness. Oh. Just scroll left and right. Okay. That's all there is here. Well, there's. I couldn't go down anyway, so. Oh, you could. You could? Yeah, you can. It goes to nothing. So he first posted on June 10th about this game uh, publicly in the Atari H forum. I wanted to share some sort of demo what I'm working on for the past few months. I thought after having my first VBXE since 2009, it was time to really do something dedicated with it. I was thinking such a cool add-on and not much that su much support. I did some b tests back in those 2009 days and ended up with a little demo that worked without VBXE. It's a funny adventure so far. I've learned how to make a scroller which doesn't scroll through the RAM but with double buffering. Also learning about blit lists, how to use them properly. Really nice to see how people work with it. Mm. At first I wanted to use the original NES tiles and graphics to make sort of a replica. I did a little upgrading because the VBXE is more capable than that. Also made just the scroll engine so far can use levels which are built with the tiled app so it's easy to design a level if the tiles are ready. Um, things work so far in the scroller and Simon, I also looked at using the original NES 6502 code, but I thought it'd be easier to start from scratch. So he made this from scratch, except for, uh, obviously the graphics. Uh, staying motivated and busy with life to keep working on bigger projects like this is always a bit tricky for me. Perhaps starting... Oh, kittens. Always trouble. Perhaps starting something smaller, a smaller game would be better. Oh, there actually is no scratch. exit there. I know. Which I'm like, is, is there a wall good. chicken? I haven't found any wall, wall check in. Oh, you also can't get hurt. No, I've enemies. noticed that. <laughs> like, where's the wall chicken? So it Come looks on, give me wall chicken. really good. Sounds amazing. Um, plays. I mean, he's, he is one pixel above the floor at the moment, but um, no, plays he's pretty good. really well. Obviously, the collision for I'm the glad enemies. I can't die. <laughs> Happy Halloween, guys. Yes. Uh, Demon FX says, Who's the guy with the knife standing behind you? <laughs> that would be a good joke if there wasn't a wall there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Could be a cat, too. Um, so they are really... plotting to kill us after all. Oh, they so. are. When you go up the stairs or down the stairs, they're right there yeah, to support you true. falling down the stairs. They're there to trip you up. So there is collision it's, with it's, your it's... with your weapon in this. Yes, just not. I mean, you, you can't die as you. Everything out. scrolls really well. Nice. Um, Very nice. Yep. So I'm looking forward to uh, him at least doing the first level because he doesn't seem to be. Uh, wanting to do much more than that because he gets bored. Oh. I think that sets in with a lot of developers where they're like, oh, okay, the, the challenge feeling. is over. Now it's just more of the same, more of just the same. more putting it in. So hopefully he'll be challenged enough with the other levels, especially the bosses maybe. Um, uh, the other thing I noticed is your weapon keeps changing. <laughs> no, it keeps changing. It's like you get a new weapon and then it works for a second or then it time doesn't out. work yeah it does time out but yeah. that's okay that's fine oh pseudo graphics his eyelids are falling it's 4 22 a.m oh Ooh, my, goodness. my goodness thank you for joining us yeah thanks for <laughs> sticking with us we're gonna get to the last game now that we've shown all this you can go down the stairs actually you can't not that i can tell no i don't know do you have I... to go do you have to push down yeah. to the... oh okay no no you've missed the stairs what stairs there's no, I couldn't. I couldn't go down them last Let's time. Let's try again. Ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the end of that game. Instant death. <laughs> so, re thank you, mm -hmm. um, Thalen, for letting us play that. Such mm -hmm. a Thalen. 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 For letting us play that awesome, awesome mm -hmm. update to Castlevania or Castle Ataria. Castle Ataria. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and we've got one more game to play Yay! tonight. And it is... There we go. Abu Symbol Profanation. But first... Profanation. I don't even know what that word means. Well, I actually looked it up because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> um, but first we're going to show... What are we going to show? the definitions of what the hell this game is about. Mm. Um, so let me get that on the screen. Uh, what page? There we go. So Abu Simbel, first part of the name of this game, a historic site comprised of two massive rock-cut temples in the village of Abu Simbel. Mm. Uh, Aswan Governet... Governet... Govern... Govern... Gover 
Governorate. Governorate? Go- Governorate. That sounds wow. about right. Word. Upper, Upper Egypt. Egypt, near the border with Sudan. Oh. The complex is a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site known as the Nubian Monuments. Mm. Um, so here is what they look like. like oh, wow. Absolutely amazing. Pretty big. That's, you can see a person there for scale. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. The whole rock face carved out. Really, really cool. Um, mm-hmm. uh, here's the full map to the game. Oh my goodness. So you start there. At the top and you go down? And you go walk oh. through there, 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 there. And I'm I'm guessing there's some warping going on because mm. some of these like that's they not They look connected. closed off. Yeah, you're right. Um, that's all one thing down here. Neat. Um, so somebody made a map by doing screenshots with the game. Yeah. Very, mm. very cool. Um so let me get to my notes on this. Uh, where is it? There it is. So this is made by Philippe de Toro. Uh, this build is from April 22nd, 2022. We're going to be playing the lives hack version of it because mm-hmm. this game is hard. Hard, hard, okay. hard game. <laughs> um, it's not so bad when you have infinite lives, though. So. Okay. Um, home good. arcade systems. Uh, actually, we'll start the game um, because it's very, very self-explanatory. It's 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 a style of game that I think everybody has played um, before. There we go. Nope, not that one. That's for compies. Nope. There you go. Correct. That's for the other compies, the old compies. There you go. Uh, so home. Let's make sure volumes aren't blasting us. There we go. Home Arcade Systems website wrote about this game. Prepare to scream profanity at your keyboard because <laughs> one of the most difficult games of Spanish software history has just been converted to the Atari XLXE. It's the third in the Johnny Jones saga, which was originally released in 1985 with the ZX Spectrum Anstrad. CPC and MSX. So the other two were not ported to the Atari 8-bit, just this version. Teleport to closed areas? Most likely teleportation. So you can press start. Or press... Oh yeah, we actually have to press start. Uh, And there's some Spanish, which we can't read. (laughs) So just press the button. So here you go. Um, Really, all you need to know is... Jump. Big jump is direction and button. There is a small jump. Oh my god, that was super lucky. And you collect the P. There is a small oh. jump, though, which you do do need to learn for the end of this this level. Okay. Um, it's uh, down and the button. Down direction, direction you want to jump in the button. It only goes up one tile. Oh. So, the plot. The protagonist, Johnny Jones, has been mutilated by the curse of the Abu Simbel, becoming a strange creature that only conserves his enormous nose of his old appearance. Doesn't really have a nose. In order to get rid of the curse, he is forced to travel to Egypt to the pyramid, where the tomb of Abu Simbel, and where it must arrive after discovering the keys that will lead him to this place. If he obtains it, he will recover his normal appearance. As logical, the pyramid is filled with traps and strange creatures who will suppose who are serious obstacles for our uh, protagonist. And the only weapon is your skill to jump from a side to another without falling in the claws of our enemies or the traps that are in all the places. He can do long or short jumps according to the situation that is needed. So the definition of profanation is defilement. Mm. So I'm guessing he's the one who was defiled. So you need a short jump here. Oh, down and short jump. Gotcha, okay. Because otherwise you hit your head on that. Hey, Synth Papalooza! Uh, we just played your Castlevania game that you did music for. Oh my god, the music is so good, especially in Stereo Pokey. Uh, I would love to get my future pal uh, system uh, upgraded with Stereo Pokey as well. Yay! Second level! You'll never one have to see room. that one before. Really? <laughs> My goodness. Oh, you can rewind or watch it afterwards or watch on YouTube after. So do not fall in that pit that's right down below you. Well. Because we'll have to restart the game. Really? Yeah. Uh, Because he keeps falling over. I don't even know what to do. It's just a big jump. 
over to that uh, ledge. Just don't fall. In. Don't fall in that pit. Okay, good. <laughs> because the problem is, if you fall in the pit, you'll keep falling in the pit, and you'll just we'll have to reset it because oh, you really? have infinite lives. That's the problem. It it's one of those games that's kind of pixel perfect. It's more about timing though. It's a timing game mm -hmm. because things are moving and they give you just enough room to fall at a certain time. Yep, yeah, just go down there. I can go down there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you just keep dying. Oh yeah, you just keep falling and dying and you can't steer yourself out of those spikes. But in a normal game, you would just lose all your lives. In this one, you'll die forever, over and over. So you have to jump over that one. Mm. How? And then uh, just a big jump. Uh, unlike other games, this guy stays in the air for the long jump. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Probably better when he's going that way. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he says, I see you're using a joystick. Would you like a cat as well? Get on that thing. Get on. Get that. Oh. Cat. I would like a cat. Hi. Oh, you've got such a handsome bow tie. He's oh. like, please take it off. Handsome cat. So I don't want to be handsome. I want to be a cat. Come here. Come here. Come to Gerald. Come to Gerald. <laughs> mm, cat. <gasps> oh. Did jump you make back it? up. No, I jumped back oh, up. To there? Oh, for oh, God's wow. sakes. Oh, how'd you do that? Jump up, jump up. There yeah, you, you don't you don't fall. There's no steering when you fall, so you fall straight down. Oh. oh. Oh, no. I feel like I should be able to fall in between. You technically can. I did it yeah. once during practice. No, 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 no. Somebody has to ring the bell for treats. And then we'll get some treats too, because we forgot last time. Ugh, kittens. <laughs> He's going after treats. Oh, oh it's almost. too it's too hard to fall down there. Split second timing. Now what you want to do is go to the very left edge of that and do a large jump. Oh, we'll do that too. <laughs> Multiple ways, yeah. I think, uh, for each of these. So I think you have to put the pea that you collected up in oh, the top in corner. Mm -hmm. No kittens. No. No kittens. I think the timer is enough for kitten oh. feedings. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say you can't. Maybe nobody has enough. Kitten points, bits, or bites. I think it changed to. There you go. There you go. The pea has been delivered. Yay! Whatever that does. So there's a down and there's a right. Hmm. This game reminds me of Exidy's Venture. There were a lot. Oh, oh, that open. What the hell? Weird. <laughs> did, it, did it? Is it still okay or no? Oh, oh, I see. It. It redid the opening. I missed it. There were a lot of games like this. Uh, made in the 80s. I don't know if you played any of them. They were Ugh. supremely frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Because they're pixel perfect precision you need with them. Oh. Point to that snake. I'm guessing you go to the right. I'm guessing too. Because it opens up. I'm sure there's death down in the other one, or mm -hmm. maybe a power up, but. I find you have to jump over those yep. because the splash takes so long. It does take so long. Small jump. Oh. Oh, did a double jump there. Oh, the cat. Both cats are looking at the treats. Oh. During the splash. Hi. There you go. walking <laughs> I'm just like power through it 
Oh, you're too close to it. <laughs> no, still. There you go. Gotta get it right before it hits. Oh, God. No. You have to actually jump before it hits. Yeah, while it's splashing, because there's an open spot while it's splashing up there. Just a quick jump and then let go immediately. No. Oh, you're gonna walk as well? Yeah, you might as well. Or should I jump over him? Maybe uh, that's no, maybe that's easier uh, to jump fully maybe, over him. Maybe. I don't know if you can get enough height. Oh, come on. Oh, what? You have to move and oh you're too close to the splash. Kitten! Psst, 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 psst. What are you doing, cat? Oh, he's causing trouble. He knocked down something, and I don't know what it was. The Lego cartridge? Okay, this is just gonna have to come out. Move forward when you're in a. Oh, I see. Never mind. I see what it is. I get the next level. Mm, this game reminds me of Exidy's Venture. No, there's no way you can do a big jump over him. Kitten! No, 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 no! Oh my god, he's knocking things down. So bad. I could put this in front of a camera, and it would just be completely covered with some cobwebs. Oh, the timing yeah, is so tight. Yeah, that's... Ugh. You do the wrong jump, right? No, you don't need to do a short jump there. No? Not here. I jumped into him. That's, that's... This, you do need to do a short jump. Yeah. If you want to yeah. get under him, but I kind of feel like I need to go high. I don't think so. I can't double jump. That's the problem. No, take very... How do you do the double jump again? Double? There's no double jump. Yeah, there is. The big jump. Oh, you just... You just, it's a normal jump. The big is the normal one. No, but there, I did a double jump before. I went boom, boom when I was in the air. Oh, not that I know of. Maybe. Happy Halloween, Toy Pig! <laughs> Glad you could join us for our special ah! spooky stream. Do you want me to do this level? Well, if, you, if you know how. Well, have you been able to? Conceptually, I know how. Okay, then go. <laughs> I'm going to get a drink. Hold on. Okay, can you get me a drink? I forgot to get one. Water? Yes, please. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, how am I gonna do this one? Okay, I did it. Yay! First try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't you? Oh, you can go back. Oh my god. Why don't I just walk under this one? Can I? Mm, don't think so. That's what I need to do. Do a big jump. Oh, what am I going to do there? Didn't really plan it out. Ugh. Now, I need to... I don't think I can jump. I can jump over them, but the timing to do that is going to be impossible. So I follow him. Can I jump over him? Is he fast enough? don't think so. I think I'm going to have to follow him and jump up to the left immediately. So I'll have to catch him on his return back, which is now. Oh, God. That was pathetic. And here. No. That's not good. Oof. Timing. Oh, come on. There we go. Punishing game. Very punishing. There we go. Oh my god. No cats. And now... Oh, I did it. Now I've got a vase. Oh, what? Oh, I go that way and then I go back? It did teleport me, so I'm guessing I have to go. Oh my god. Go back this time now. Oh, stupid me. There we go. 
Okay. Thank you very much. How's it going? Did you start over? No. Nope, I did it. Oh, good. Multiple screens and then teleported map me. <laughs> <laughs> teleported me back to that place where there's two paths. Okay. And then I just went down. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. It is pixel perfect, isn't it? Uh, pretty much. There's something VHZC like about this game. <laughs> really? Just oh, jumping over obstacles. The things that are moving, right? Some of the things that are moving. Like, I see a little bit what of inspiration that there. It goes... I think I'm going to jump over that ring. Can you? I think you have to. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Very precise timing there. I'm gonna try it again. <gasps> oh. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to drop. Drop, yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Drops pretty Too fast. early, yeah. Too early. Oh, do I have to touch that? <gasps> Good job. Do I have to touch There's that? A flying heart. Oh. No, heart? you didn't have to. Oh, oh ah. no! Back to the beginning. What did the bad kitty do? Charles Willen called him a bad kitty. Oh, he's he's bad. He's just Is bad. He? I don't know. They're just bad cats. <laughs> <laughs> just they generally. like getting into trouble. They're very curious. Mm -hmm. Very naughty. We know. We know. Okay. Do we need oh, to slay? Oh, come on. Slay, slay the cats. Kitten. Oh, no. Why slay have to jump the over kitten. It? Slay it. Oh, I made it. You can jump over it. Slay the cat. Slay, slay the cat. The monster. Oh, no. I have to do it on that way down. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think you do. I think that's the easiest way. Dropping? Yeah. yeah. It is. Because there's a bit of precise, time. Precise, but yeah, there is. Jumping is much harder. I will slay you. Slay the gray monster. <gasps> oh, I'm waiting too late on that. Without the hack, how many lives would you have? Uh, oh, my it's like Lord. five. Oh, really? It's brutally Good punishing. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible because whenever you start a new room... You don't know what to do. You die and then have to go through everything. Oh, yeah. That's how the games were. I know, I know. Oh, Good job. Huh. Next room! I'm glad that it resets each room. Yes. Okay. So I need to do a jump? Yeah. Oh, 100% jump, jump. I see a lot of VHZC in this. <laughs> His games aren't as punishing. No, but like the drips... The, the, the yeah. spinny things, there's uh, definitely, definitely something to it. Yeah, I think maybe he's influenced by these old games. Yep. A lot of the... Hit uh, the thing. Open. Yeah, hit the button, open the door. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Awesome. Oh, yeah, no. But oh, but at least now. you have it, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Nice. <sighs> My god, I couldn't get out of the first screen, says Crossfield. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty hard. punishing. Hard. So, that's not too bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, I hit my head on that. That's what's going to You happen. have to time how you jump oh over that. My or maybe God. you drop down. Maybe you drop down both at the same time. Oh, I think yes. you might have to. Oh, that did work. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's... That, that is something. Do it in two. Yep. Uh, I think I'm Jump gonna... over and drop? Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Oh. Nice. <laughs> very nice. Uh, it's a very cute game. I, I love it. It's good with infinite lives. Like, oh, yeah. this is how it probably should be played. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. too punishing otherwise. It is punishing. I wonder if I can... I know I can't do double size on this because it looks small right on the screen uh, outputting to people it's not too bad but there are games that are higher width a height so i can't double it mm. do you think I'm that's just haunting you saying look there's a big diamond but you can't get to probably. it probably it's like the end of the game or something it's like it's like a, it's just like oh yeah no you can't oh what yeah you could go oh, back into rooms no. yeah uh, it's gonna be hard. This is controller tossingly hard, yes. Yes. It's a good thing the controllers were on, um, cords back then. Oh my god. You can't yeah. throw a battery powered con the controller across the room. How do you, how am I gonna do this? Do a lot of damage to that. Or like the Wii, the Wii, uh, controllers. Like strap. How they would break and get thrown into screens. Which people used to say it was because they needed a strap because they would fall out of their hands, but I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Not in the slightest. What? No! How am I supposed to do this, though? After I even get up there. 
I like the snake. He's cute. It's got a good wiggly body. Okay. You gotta do it fast or jump. Uh, I don't know if you can jump from there over. No. no. You can only do two. I'm gonna have to just do very fast timing. Nice. Oh my god. <gasps> Good job. Is that a thing I need to go That's touch? Zappy. Oh, the guy on the right, you mean? Yeah, maybe. No. 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 Just decoration. Ooh, Zappies. Page said, see I zappies. bet you go up and down, or I you don't know. You think left or right? I bet you first? go up and you have to turn it off first. Yeah. Oh, God. Careful. <laughs> Thank goodness, infin infinite lives. So, this hack. Like, Ugh. this game is available with the original five lives. Yeah. Wow. Just touch the edge of that. I can't... Oh, I can't get up there. You have to jump on that and over? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my. If I want to do that first. I may not want to do Maybe that Maybe go to the right, then. Yeah. Just wow. to see, because that's a lot easier. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to. Oh, it's a slow drip. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Okay, that was much easier than I thought. <laughs> maybe you can jump Ooh. over? Yep. Or Have to. Maybe not. Oh my god. No, you jump from this. <gasps> That's fine. It starts on this side. Thank goodness. Oh, oh my man. god. What? It needs to be a Konami oh code god. to activate infinite lives mode. Yeah. Oh, what am I supposed to do? No, you have to do that. You just have to time it well. <gasps> oh, there's like wow. a split second there. Okay. I have to get up to the top there. No! Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go! <gasps> oh. Can I do it on the first pass? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh. I could. Oh, <gasps> oh teleport. teleported. Very nice. There's the uh, guy from the carved rock. What we saw a picture of. Okay. God. okay, I'm gonna drop under. Oof. Oh my god. Under. No, I'm gonna jump over. No, I think you might have to. Oh, oh that works too. Nice. Oh. Snakes. snakes! So many ah! snakes. Oh my god! I can't Everybody. believe I did it. <laughs> That was just pure timing luck. That was. That that happened. Okay. Oh. I'm just going to go on the right. I'm probably, there's something on the left of that, but. Oh, come on. <laughs> I pressed. Oh, lucky. Yeah. That would have been the end of this game. Really? Yes. Just because of the way this works, I would have mm. just kept falling, falling, falling. That was really lucky. Maybe we should consult the map, actually, if there's two more. The next one. No, because there's a key, and then I bet... No, the next time there's two ways to go, we're going to oh. look at the map. Because otherwise it'll be game over. No, I think whatever's over. hardest. I think that's... Oh, They're no. Both... I think I think the best policy is whatever's furthest away from you when you enter the room is it'll usually be game the over way to go. If I pick wrong. True. Oh, my God. I got it over once. Come on, uh, uh, to, to the chatters, don't you agree with me? If you just pick the path oh, with the yeah. most resistance, that's usually the correct one. Oh, for sure. That's how these games are made. I knew I was going to die. That's okay. I knew it. It was a sacrifice that needed to be made. <laughs> God. The hardest route, like Hero. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Atari 2600, exactly. dude. Always the hardest route. It's like in an RPG, you have to check everything in every room before you move from room to room or place to place. Yep. Because you will never be able to get it again. That's nope. just how nope. it works. Like if the quest is over, the quest is over. You've missed getting whatever. It blocks off anything. that entrance. Until they get insidious and switch it up just to screw with you. I mean, that is a thing, yeah. too. But these types of games, it's almost always the hardest path. So who has had has been giving out candy? Oh, yeah. Today? 
We never get visitors because of. We don't, but I, I, our neighbors. We don't invite the visitors. We have a little <laughs> place in front of our because we're, we're in essentially a, a building, right? So a that townhouse, changes things. Yeah. yeah, but our neighbors actually set up a little tent because it's raining, and w they were giving out candy outside. So I'm not surprised no one came to our door, but yeah. it's really nice of them to do that. It is. Um, and to be out there, and I think they were. Um, uh, they have friends oh, with no. kids. Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> is this bad, or is that what it was supposed to have happen? I don't know. Can you get back out? Uh, I'm guessing that's a teleporter that goes back up. Somewhere. It must. Ooh, that was good. There you go. Oh, I'm somewhere completely different. Completely different. Funny, funny, funny. We got our very first trick or treater, also last since 2019. Oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> One. Yeah. Well, they put it in the. Depends on where you are. If you're in a suburban area, I'm sure you get lots of kids, but. When you're, we're a little more urban, so kids don't trick or treat as much. They go to schools and yeah. and and probably just go to businesses. friends' houses and things like. You see it. They, you see them go to businesses as well. A lot. Streets. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that is definitely a thing. Especially with really young kids, they bring they bring the kids to malls and things. Yeah. And, yeah. All the dead malls. All the dead malls. <laughs> there aren't many it's dead malls creepier. here. There aren't that many dead malls in. in oh god. Oh, did oh, you, oh! You can steer. You were moving. Did you jump? Hit it. No, no, get it. I did. Did you? Okay. Yeah, so I've got it in my inventory now. Oh, good. Well, I have to fall. You might have I to. I jump up there. But you can not I, I was able to steer. Jump. You have to jump, maybe. <sighs> or maybe if if you jump and fall, you, you still have some... Uh, maybe. Any great costumes you guys have seen? Oh, yeah. Did anybody dress up? Yeah. Actually, actually as well. Any of you dressed up? I saw a good, uh, like, OG Freddy cost Or not Freddy. Freddy Nightmare Kruger? on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger. Is that Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street? I don't watch all the old ones. I was a big ones. fan of that. Were you? TV show and some of the movies. And the comic. Um, but, uh, oh, God. Uh, at a place oh, we went. Oh, it's because I jumped. was jumping. That's what I mean. If you're jumping... So what should I do? Huh? I should go back here and then jump a small jump? Yeah. Mm. Small jump from here, maybe. Uh, no. But that's the way to do it, for sure. Yeah. Mm. But I'm going to go down the left there. <laughs> Which is what I'm supposed to do, for sure. I'm really enjoying this game. No! God damn it! Useless! <gasps> What am I gonna do now? Okay. Big Profanation. Jump. Just the name oh, gives it. me the creeps. Yeah. Okay. Also, no, I feel like. No, no, no. Oh, infinite death. No, you can't move. No. Oh, no. <sighs> so it's not just spikes that can kill you no, with infinite you just, lives. If you can't change your path and you, you're dead, even you're dead. Without infinite lives, this would kill you over and over again. You would. This would be the end of the game. Yeah. So you're gonna have to start over. I'm gonna start. No, you're not gonna. You're not gonna <laughs> try. A, no, it's very. It's tedious. You're in Pantalis 22 Vitas 09. I don't yeah. Know. Cool that, though. That is an issue. Yes. It should like maybe remember the last platform, mm. not the last screen you were on, but the last solid ground you were on. Mm. I think that makes more sense. Uh. <laughs> As Gerald would say, his catchphrase. His catchphrase. Yes. Um, but very good game. I Amazing think game. That's something Heart. that needs to be fixed. Oh, for the infinite lives, we, yeah. Even for non-infinite lives, that needs to be fixed. Because that would be the the end of all your lives right there oh, again. Oh, I see. You would just keep falling. Yeah. Yeah, it just needs to send you, in any room, send you on a path that doesn't immediately kill you. Yeah. Each... Or start you in the previous room. Yeah, start yeah. you in the previous room. I mean, yeah. that... Yeah, not great. It's a bit more difficult yeah. because it wants to place you in the room you died. Yes. At the spot that you entered it mm -hmm. yeah that's what it does every time and that's not actually good in that game mm. in some of the rooms um but overall really fun game mm. 
um, challenging, but not too challenging with infinite lives. <laughs> Put a disclaimer there. Not too challenging that you can't get by every level. It, I like the more puzzly aspect of it. I do too. It um rather than the oh, I have to do this perfectly. It's hard, but I can also see like you were getting through the rooms. So I can yeah, see even with finite lives getting good enough at the obstacles that you can get through it. Yeah. 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 Uh, you should earn a life every time you go into a new room. It's, yes, that would help. That's that for actually sure. would help a fair amount. Yeah, yeah. or send Papalooza or every two rooms. Ugh, yeah. Every room would be enough. <laughs> because you will, I'd run Very out good of lives. Games. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. Um, so we play. Or two lives every new room, Vitoko says. Two lives yeah. every room. That's yes. about right. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. can see maybe like going through the game over and over again, mm. getting to a point where you could do it enough. Um, that you would not run out of lives, but you'd have to be really, really good. Oh, let's go back to the map, actually. The See map where we is were. quite impressive. Um, so, we uh, started there, went down there, yeah. uh, went down there, went, went, went there. back up. Through that room. Through that room. We didn't go... Oh, you must have gone to the up, right. I did go up that one. That's where you stopped. It was right here. Oh, yeah. It was frustrating. Um, I got that, and I think that teleported me somewhere. To a, above? Or no? That above spot? E it doesn't look familiar. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It's te te teleported me there. Okay. I believe. Um, and then, yes. Remember? I yeah. didn't go down there. Went down there. Go to the one for this door. there. Yep. Um, oh yeah, and then I started, where was it? Here? Because I went up here, went up that side. Yeah, and then went, went up, up the other, side. and then that teleported Actually, you. most of the game. You did a fair Maybe chunk not most of, it. of it. But, uh, then, oh, where? then I went up to... It's there, you, you, you fall through... Is it there? No. Oh, was Where did it? did you fall through? Yeah, it's a big, long... Maybe it's lower down. No, that's the bottom. Is that's it... the bottom? Oh, is it on the left-hand side? Here it is. Here it is. It was oh, this. there. So it went there, but then I kept falling, and that's where the ledge I landed yeah. on. And this is where I was dying over and over here. But you have to kind of go to the left. You want I, to get to the left side I was down. trying to get there. Yeah. And then go down here, which is the proper path, and you get the bird. Uh, you place the bird, which would be a teleporter. Yeah. And then it would teleport me to... Wherever. Yeah. The last... Probably. Second, the you last? were pretty close to the yeah, end. Yeah. Pretty close to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very good game. Very good game. Um, highly recommended. Uh, highly recommend downloading the Infinite Lives hack of it from mm. the Atari Age forums. That's for sure. Yeah. Was this originally on Spectrum? And Demon N N I X F says, yeah, it looks like Spectrum. I, yeah. I believe it was on a, a bunch of um, European systems? Uh, computer systems. Let me just look it up. I have the notes here. It was originally on um, ZX Spectrum, Anstrab, CBC, and CPC, and MSX, those Sorry. line of computers that look like those kind of colors. Um, so, let's see what's coming up. Sorry, I spilled some beer on my costume. <laughs> oh, no. Don't want to do that. So, I uh, released Chris Spry's interview, Spry Bug. Yes, I saw that. Who does Robot Z, who also oh, yeah? did Princess Rescue, the infamous Princess Rescue. <laughs> and um, also Zippy the Porcupine. Mm -hmm. So, he does very, very high-profile ports. <laughs> yes. 2600. That's amazing. And um, Robot yeah. Z is a really good yes. game. Yes, yes, yes. Can't wait to, for that to be done. He's very, very close, so I'm guessing... That'll be in the next batch of Atari Age release games. Anyway, so we did the homebrew, uh, Halloween homebrew special. Next episode, which is going to be on Friday, we're going to be playing ABB UC 2022 8-Bit Games, Part 1 and Part 2. Those, um, those there, the games there are not settled. I may be moving around which games we're going to play on which day. Um, and then on Tuesday, we're going to be playing Part 2. And then the following... S or that that Saturday, next weekend? No. No. The weekend after. 
Atari Age Day 2022 Fall Edition, Day 1 and Day 2, Saturday, Sunday, six hours each. We're going to be play, uh, talking to all the developers, mm -hmm. unboxing all the new games from Atari Age, and popping them in to Ooh, all the systems. That's exciting. I may do it upstairs. I may not. Okay. It's a Unsure. lot of work. Yeah, to, to move, move everything. everything upstairs. Yeah. I mean, you can probably Luckily, get we it have a new room. computer upstairs, so we can broadcast through that That's computer. That's true. I didn't think about that. We yeah, can use that computer. I don't have to bring computer. my computer. I just need to bring the systems. Um, that could work. So that's a possibility. Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Sorry you missed Castlevania Synth Papalooza. Oh. Um, just rewind after we're done and you'll be able to look yeah. at it. Um, Are you squishing me? Then You're there's a two player update to Cartesian Chaos where you get to control one of the enemies in it. Remember that uh, game made by Carl G? Yeah. And uh, you're shooting them in a. Oh, yes, cross yes, maze. yes, yes. He's updated for two ah, players. Oh, nice. And he's implemented some of our suggestions. Oh, as that's well. really nice. Thank you, Carl uh, G. Tunnels of Hyperion is on release candidate. That means it's all done. Oh, nice. And I never find any bugs in his games <laughs> <laughs> when we play release candidates. Probably just some tweaks. Sorry, who's, does. whose games? Uh, VHZC. VHZC, of course. And actually, yeah. if okay. you looked at the pre show here, uh, in the bottom left corner, that's his artwork that he made for Halloween on the Atari 8 bit. The oh, nice. Witch in the Moon. You saw that if you watched, uh, if you're here in the intro. Nice. Um, and then we're going to be playing some 2600 games as well. Um, and then sometime we're going to be doing in late november we're going to be doing an uno plus cart special with some live interviews um and a ColecoVision day probably in december it looks like right now and we'll probably be taking some time off in the latter half of december Yes, yeah. from the show for for holidays Christmas and yeah, and also for me to gear up for the the uh, awards, the awards, yeah. the Atari Homebrew Awards, yeah, because there's a lot of paperwork that needs to be done before that happens. Um, so lots to look forward to. Yay, plus card. Yeah, there's some big cool things happening with the, uh, the Uno plus card and plus card. Excellent. Then we'll be review um, interviewing the people behind it. Um, so thank you for tuning in today for our uh, Halloween homebrew spooktacular. <laughs> oh, he's all dressed up now and he's calm. Can you see the kitty? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Chat. You could see him earlier. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Aww, yeah. Oh, little he's kitty. got his bow tie. You can he's kind got of see his, his bow tie, tie on. Yeah. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, Dan, ABC, Charles Wheel, and Synth Papaloo's Atari 2600 dude, Damon Demon XF? Demon. De De Demon IXF? Demon. Demon. Uh, or Demon XF. <laughs> Demon XF? Sure. Um, it's all good. BR Pocock, uh, Toy Pig, um, yeah, Demon XF, Pocock. first time chatter. Thank you. Thank Teleprompter? You for subscribing. Yeah, Ricardo uh, Dude Abides 4, Atari 2600 Dude, Ricardo Pim, thank you for resubscribing. Uh, our Anchuits, Ivory Tower Collections, Neo Media, Pseudo Graphics, uh, Analog 1975, um, any other people, and all the other people yeah. who were lurking. Yes. It's a shame Abba de Mort wasn't ready for this. Yes, yes. it is a shame. That would have been awesome mm -hmm. uh, to do that. But we'll play it when it comes out and it's ready. That'll be great. Yeah. Um, hopefully I can maybe talk to the developers and maybe we can premiere it, mm -hmm. depending on the timing. That would be that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Teleprompter. Glad you enjoyed it. Yes. Uh, so we'll be back. This is an early. We usually do it on Tuesday, but today's Halloween. So we'll it's it to early, Monday. but also a late time. So it's, it, it's a little yeah. quiet out there, probably because a lot of people in bed <laughs> yes doing but, trick or treating um, going to parties but thank you for for those who yeah, showed up because uh in. we had a little bit more getting stuff decorated and getting all uh costumed up so yep. it took a little bit getting longer the cats than usual costumed up yeah, yeah which only happened for one of them the other one is permanently <laughs> in his halloween costume he is. are you gonna come here and say happy halloween come, come on, on. Oh, he's immediately suspicious. <laughs> yes. Come here. He's like, come, come, come. I don't know about you. He's like trying to get underneath. Come here. Oh, come on. He's sticking himself to the. Remember to hold carpet. him up. 
We have our Halloween cat. Oh. Halloween cat. Hi, Halloween cat. Yeah. Permanently Halloween. Yeah. It's his. It's his day. It's his day. It's. I it's did say Sprite's take day. some photos, but he wasn't cooperating today too much. No, I'm not surprised. Photos by the pumpkins. Yeah. Actually, it would be pretty good here. Yeah. Will you go up there? Probably not. He does not want to. No. Can't no. make cats do things. Oh no, you cannot. You can just provide opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> For cats Provide. to do things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, be back on Friday. We'll be playing some more awesome homebrew games. Correct. So we will see you then. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good Halloween.